was encouraged by several people to get a service dog. And then there was a lady who lived with us for 10 years. She said, you know, if you got a service dog, you'd be a lot easier to live with. <laughs> Honestly, I, someone mentioned it to me. You know, you should get a service dog. And I thought it was ridiculous. I have use of my legs, arms. I'm, my glasses are pretty strong, but I'm not blind. You know, every one of us um, uh, has been wounded. Some of the wounds are more obvious than others. My first service dog, Ben, I had him for uh, roughly nine years. From the moment I got up to the moment I went to bed, Ben was a part of my life. So to say that he was important would be an understatement. He was integral into and, and having a happy life and enhancing the quality of life that I, that I had. And I lost him 831 16. And then about a year later, um, Lori contacted me again and asked if I was ready for another dog. I said I was, and so we went from there. Veterans have a very soft spot in my heart. My father was a very proud American, a very proud veteran. About the time my son had just joined the Air Force, some veterans at the Dallas VA were trying to train their own dogs and had heard about this dog trainer in Rockwell and set up a meeting to have lunch with me to see if I could help them. They were an amazing group of men that needed help. And that's when my heart just fell in love with veterans. This, hey, this is what I need to do. I'm a trainer for Patriot Paws. Um, I've been doing this about four years, four and a half years, I guess now. Um, my training was done in what we call the prison program. Um, that's how I learned to train dogs was there in prison.